Figma and Adobe together just launched their AI prospect for the future. They've taken an extensive video out showcasing every little feature that they're planning or hoping to bring to Figma someday. There are some positives and negatives about these updates that they've showcased. Let me break down all of these features one by one and let's see what we have in store. The first part of the video is showcasing how you can convert any notes that you've taken around your users and your user journey and it'll create a comic like storyboard for you. As you can see, if I click on dream with Firefly, it will basically bring up these pictures. If I pause right about here, you can see how each of these pictures pertain to what is written on the screen. Apart from that, if I just forward it a little bit, you can see how it creates a nice little interface which can be presented forward to stakeholders, designers, etc. It also gives us a quick title so it knows what it's doing. But there are two little buttons on top here, which are Easter eggs because they have not been explained completely. References, I believe, could be referring to the pictures and where they've been picked up from. In this case, it's Adobe Firefly. Now, there is something called link to animatic, which is surprising to me. For those who don't know what animatic is, let me show you. Animatic is an animation tool which you can run inside iPad and it allows you to kind of draw out these animated illustrations. As you can see, users have created these nice little sketches and just converted them into nice little animations. This is great for storyboarding, not only for UX designers, but animators, movie producers, etc. This could be a feature in Figma in the coming few months is pretty incredible. This next video right here picks up this image from your Figma file. You can just drag out and you can just put it into a 3D software built by Adobe and you can quickly edit this shoe. And any edits will then be synced with your original Figma design. This is really cool because this is a similar feature that Adobe XD had but now it's coming to Figma. I think that's kind of crazy to think of. These features do worry me a little bit and you will find out by the end of this video why. But for now, I think it's really cool that there will be cross-linking between Figma and Adobe apps now as well. Another use case that many of us already have uh, is this changing images or adding images in our designs. Now, since Adobe Firefly can remove backgrounds, edit images on the fly, that feature is now coming to Figma as well. As you can see, it can extend the background. This seems to be very well done because it's quite seamless and it also allows you to choose from your own set of backgrounds and designs, etc. Now, the only thing that I'm worried of is the interface itself. It seems as if we might have to download something else except Figma. It's built in into Figma that will be a cherry on top of the cake. Prototyping any design can be a huge headache. This next feature that they might introduce will remove that headache. Next video, as you can see, you can access Figma prototype from inside After Effects. If this is true, other video editing as well as other design softwares might even have this feature as well. What fascinates me is that it is importing live prototypes, just like you designed and animated in Figma into After Effects. Would this fix the whole issue of recording your screens and then putting it inside After Effects, maybe. Another reason why this is useful is also that a lot of teams will be able to stay on the same page. If I make a change inside Figma, it will automatically show up in After Effects. It will automatically show up in Illustrator, 3D assets. This next one here is probably the most useful feature out of all these by a hundred miles. This little video showcases how there's something called a theme editor that will sync up with Figma. So if you want to quickly change color palettes, you can quickly do that. It will recognize text, image, graphics, etc and it will add new graphics, it will change colors, etc. even for images. Now, since AI is so powerful, it can edit even the images with the colors. So your images will also fit with your theme, even if you decide to change. Adobe Fonts is a dream come true for me. And here, as you can see, they are demonstrating how indirectly be inside Figma using theme editor. So you can now essentially use Adobe fonts in tangent with Figma and hopefully they might even bring it to the official Figma app as well. Now this video was a part of a big extravagant video called What If by Figma and Adobe. Now even though it feels all cool and dandy, there is a downside to this feature coming inside Figma. More than AI in this situation, 
Adobe seems to worry me a little. What I don't like is almost this forced behavior to install Adobe apps, this forced behavior to get creative cloud. And I know they're doing it for their sales. It's important for the business. And we all know that Adobe software is not always the best thing in the world. Will it bring up the prices? Will it, will they have more say in what Figma can and cannot do? This video added some value to your day. If it did, subscribing for free is always welcome. And I make such content every single week. So you'll see something valuable every week. Also hit the like button if you like this video and comment down below what you feel about this new update.